Hello good YouTubers of the world, All About Nat is back with another video. How are you doing? The last couple of days have been a tad stressful, I will not lie to you. Unfortunately, I did not manage to get a video out to you yesterday. Um, yeah, I won't go into the details, but it involved an ambulance and it involved uh, me having to do some life-saving uh, first aid. Thankfully, I have done a first aid course, so I know what I'm doing. Uh, but it was stressful, it wasn't the best, I'm not feeling amazing still, but um, I wanted to get this video out to you. So, we won't go on about that anymore. It is basically what I'm going to do today is the Instagram Q&A that I did. I did a live video on Thursday. Now, I think I will be doing a regular live video every Thursday evening UK time. Um, so around about maybe like 9 to 10 ish on the evening um, so it, you know depending on where you are in the in the world you may be able to come on the live I will answer your questions we will have a good chat about anything you like um, and it's all good fun we had a good time we know we did a bit of a, li um, a live Q&A so I did answer some questions on the live but I thought I would keep some questions aside to answer for a Q&A YouTube video. The last one um, went down well, you know, I managed to get as many answers out there for you guys as possible. So if you haven't seen that video, go check that out. And without further ado, let's get into it. Number one on this is uh, Lawrence. Shout out to Lawrence. What is the most high supreme item you've got? Um, now, as you know, I did have a lot more than, <laughs> than I have now. Um, I sold a lot of my things about five or six years ago. So I still do have a few things, not a great deal, but um, are of, from older years. But I have a baseball bat. This has also been revealed on a past video. I think it's in my top five grails or top five accessories something like that go check that out if you haven't seen it uh, a baseball bat and probably recent times the now mask which obviously goes very nicely with the baseball bat I'm just looking for the baseball so if anybody has got that I want my baseball back not bat back because I did have it they don't anymore so I want to get the baseball to go with the bat and the mask. I hope that answered your question. So number two, at ck.yu316. Good Instagram name. Thoughts on the Hellraiser keychain? Did have a preview vid of the Hellraiser stuff. So if you haven't seen what I thought of that collaboration, go and check that that video out. Um, but on the keychain itself, do you know? I'm sure it's nice heavyweight it looks heavyweight I presume but it's not my thing I wouldn't I wouldn't buy it myself because I'm not a Hellraiser fan but if you're into Hellraiser that is a must the the accessories are one of the best things about Supreme and um, if you're into that you've got to get it and I know it's still sitting on the website at the moment in the UK anyway so I'm pretty sure you can still pick that up if you are so inclined George Rollstone at George Rollstone shout out to you guys uh, shout out to CK in case I didn't say it um, favourite film <laughs> that is a cracking question now some of you of a certain age will probably not have a clue about this film so I do apologise to you but there's no excuses you can go and check it out because it is a classic the Goonies. Now, I know I have followers of my own age, so you're going to know exactly what I'm talking about. It is a fantastic video. It video? Film. It's a fantastic film. Um, it's absolutely brilliant. It really is. It's um, it's a very, it's an 80s film. I love my 80s films. Go and see it. That's all I can say. 
go and see that film. It's fantastic. The Goonies. Or, or Scarface. I do love the Scarface film as well. I like my retro films, basically. I love Jumping Jack Flash. I love the BMX Bandits. I love um, uh, Coming to America. I love Beverly Hills Cop. All those kind of films. Um, but The Goonies is probably up there. That's my favourite. Hope you answered your question. Um, at Lawrence, again, shout out to you again, Lawrence. Favourite streetwear item I own? It's a difficult one, that, but stash high tops, which, again, if you haven't seen my stash video, I did do a specific stash video because I have got quite a few stash. Um, if you don't know, stash is a graffiti artist. I have do I've got quite a few of his kind of items from back in the early 2000s. His high top shoes are my grail because they are in a nice flight case and I'd say that's my favourite streetwear item I own but if it was clothing I'd probably say one of my supreme hoodies. Uh, yeah, one of my supreme hoodies. Number five, Matthew at Matthew Santini, shout out to you. Favourite item that has dropped so far? Cool. Okay. Now, I'm afraid I've got like three items in here or, or even a full collaboration. I'm going to say the Public Enemy collab. I loved all that stuff. I loved it. Um, or the lantern that's behind me. I think that was so underrated. Such a great accessory. Or my green cord hoodie that I got. So one of those three. CK again, shout out to you. Uh, opinions on bait. Now I think some of you may know this already, so I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but bait in the early 2000s, when it was owned by Nego, Nego who now has human maid who's friends with Pharrell Williams, when he owned the company Bape, he started that company, okay? When he owned that, started it in the early 2000s, it was brilliant. It was unbelievable, it was brilliant. It ha those sort of things hadn't really been seen before. Um, they were really limited. Um, you know, the way he kind of, the stuff he did with, with camo that hadn't been done before, using the bait head, everything was very new and it was very fresh, you know. So when he was out there, when it was like that then, I had so many like Bapesters, Roadsters, I had so much Bape, I don't own a single Bape thing anymore. I think I sold it all, but it changed. As soon as he sold it and it, he left, it changed. It changed for me. I went very much right off it. So I understand why it's hyped. Today you've obviously got a new wave of people coming into streetwear, so I get why it is hyped, but for me, you know, obviously I'm of a different age group and it's not what it was. Uh, Chris Murphy, shout out to you Chris, my dream collaboration, that is a brilliant question. Now, I've got two here, <laughs> I've got two, <laughs> my first one would be supreme stash oh my god what what things that they could do what amazing things i can only just dream about i can see now a supreme um cap because obviously is one of his logo uh, staple sort of um images is the cap from a spray can a little cap key ring supreme on it oh that would be amazing. The hoodies using the fat cap or the cap or the... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Please do it, Supreme. That would be my ultimate, ultimate collaboration. And then my other one, I thought, which would be great, would be Nike Supreme Off-White. Can you imagine the sneakers they would make? Oh, yeah needs to be done. Lawrence again. 
another great question. What am I still waiting for from the lookbook? Um, so I'm waiting for, and I'll put some images on the screen as well. <clears throat> I'm waiting for the Tivoli speaker, Supreme Tivoli speaker. That is something I want to get, but I am kind of like slightly fearful of the price of it. And I'm hoping it doesn't drop next week. Please don't drop it next week. Lee Qui and I'm, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. The Lee Quinonus, Quinonus deck. Um, obviously there are clothing that goes with that and I do love the clothing. I really do like the clothing. Whether I'm going to be able to afford it though is another matter. But I do want to get one of the decks. As I'm into my very, I'm very much into my street art and I always have been. Number nine, Luna Marid. Best season of... Now, I've had a really good think about this. It's a really good question and if it was... If you were asking somebody who had a very good memory, this would be a brilliant answer. But I am sorry, I'm afraid. It's really hard to say because obviously I've seen a hell of a lot of seasons come and go. So I can't really remember everything from every season. But there are obviously like bits from each season that were really, really good. There wasn't don't think there's ever been a season where I've thought this whole season is absolute fire. I really don't think that, you know, I don't think that's ever, ever happened. But there are bits from each season that I loved, you know, like obviously back in the 2004, 2005 or whatever, you know, the popcorn pieces. But there were pieces from that season that I just, I didn't like you know um 2006 you know the public enemy but there were bits from that i didn't like so it's very you know it's very difficult to sort of pick a season itself so i know i'm really sorry that i haven't answered that completely but all i will say is that, that i do think every single season that has gone by there's always been something that i would like and when people say, oh, this season's shit, mm, whatever, what, you know, God, there's been nothing that I like. Come on, guys. There's all, there's all, that's one thing about Supreme. There's always something for everybody. That is number nine. Number ten. What time are we on? Okay, not too bad. <clears throat> number ten. Esme Ashton. Best ever. And shout out to you, Esme. Best ever Supreme piece. Ooh another good question okay i'm gonna say with the clothing the popcorn tea i'm still still wanting this popcorn tea accessories oh that's hard because i'm gonna say pins I, I think they're so underrated but yet so valuable if you were on the live the other day you will know how much i have been offered for those pins um, and know how some of the older ones go for so much money so pins as well not that it's all about the value but just underrated items supreme pins are great they really are and i highly recommend collecting them number 11 matthew santini shout out again thoughts on the pinball machine i think wowzers supreme pushing the boundaries again that to me is amazing I'm not going to get one. Most people on this planet will not get one because I reckon there's going to be only about 50 made. The actual retail price is going to be sky high. The resale price, oh my god. I dread to think what the resale price is going to be. I love Supreme for doing these things. I have no, I actually don't even have a desire to own one. Not, there's nowhere to put it. But if I even, if I had the room, I have no desire to own one, but it, they, you can see it on my face, Supreme make me smile because they just go for it. Oh, they're a, you know, they're a skate brand, what they're doing making, you know, a pinball machine, what they're doing making baseballs, what they're doing making, but they just push the boundaries and that I love Supreme for, you know, um, so yeah. That's my thoughts on, on the pinball machine. Lawrence again. Uh, thoughts on YouTubers suing each other. 
I love that. It's a great question. Brilliant question. Um, I did do a video. I did do a video, and I can't remember what I called it now. It's a few weeks back, and it was just about how to, you know, certain YouTubers have gone a little bit above their station. Um, you know, getting on the back of other YouTubers. I think everyone just needs to grow up a little bit. That's that's my honest opinion. I think just grow up. Just grow up. Come on. We're all trying to do our best. We're all um, here to for for your enjoyment to make people watch stuff. We've all got our own opinions, and that's why the world goes round because we all have our own opinions. Unless you are actually slandering somebody because something is they're saying something that is completely incorrect. You know, for example, I don't know. None of these big YouTubers know who I am anyway, apart from Jacob Starr and Sleepy, obviously. For, for example, I don't know, he said something, Jacob Starr, he wouldn't, because, you know, as I say, we're loose friends. Um, if he said something that was totally incorrect about me on his channel, I would just hit him up and I would just say, I mean, what are you doing? And he would come back and go, oh yeah, sorry, God, I don't know, I can't believe I said that, blah, blah, blah. And that would be the end of it. Come on. That's what I think about that. Just communicate. Jesus Christ. Anyway, I hope that answered your question. Uh, number 13, at Jordan Wilson. Shout out to you, Jordan. Favourite new musician? That is a good question because there isn't a great deal. Well, there is. I say that's wrong. There is new music that I like, but it's not come, coming from new people coming through necessarily. You know, I don't even know if in the States you know these people. Rudimental, Clean Bandit, Stigma. Um, N.E.R.D. but they're not new. Um, I do like a lot of my old stuff I'm afraid. <laughs> so yeah. Luna Maret. What was my first Supreme purchase? Another brilliant question. I had to really think about this. Really think about this. <laughs> and I think Stussy Supreme World Famous Supreme Team t-shirt from Possibly 2001, 2002. Again, it could be wrong. Um, but that was a really great collaboration for me because I've always been really into my uh, my Stussy stuff. Obviously, this is a retro Stussy. I've always been into my Stussy, so when they collaborated, it was just a dream for me. That So that one... Um, I know I did get another, I think I got a few bits of accessories when I went into the store, but I can't remember what they were now, I'm afraid. Eek. Um, so yeah, anyway, I hope that answered your question. And another question from Luna Mara to end this, the final question, have I owned a box logo? Yes, I have. As, as a lot of you OG viewers will know, I'm not a massive fan of the box logo sweatshirt hoodies. I would prefer the small box logo. Um, I do love it on the accessories, but on the sweatshirt, not the biggest fan. So I did have a 2015, I think it was 15, it could have been 14, I think. Don't know about the year, but anyway, I did have a navy red box logo sweatshirt and I had it in small but I sold it I sold it on um, because I just think there's so much more to Supreme than the box logo sweatshirts hoodies if, you ha if you're watching this and you haven't watched my top fives watch my top five YouTube videos um, because it'll show you a bit of my collection wish I had my earlier collection to show you guys give you a bit of supreme history right there but unfortunately they are no more and um, so anyway i hope you enjoyed that video and i hoped you um got the answers you wanted 
thank you all of you for coming on to the live thank you for um asking those questions some of them brilliant all of them brilliant in fact um so yeah thank you ever so much for that if you are new to the channel please subscribe and also come on to the live videos on my instagram instagram is in my bio it is at all about that underscore go follow me on there and we can do we can do live chats and all that kind of thing let's do it let's continue the journey together all about that real crew <laughs> anyway all about that we'll see you on the next one keep it real guys <laughs>